Hello everybody, I am Conquering History Games and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be starting up a new campaign now. Before some of you bring it up, some of you might be asking, uh, where is uh, the campaign where I'm going to be playing as one of uh, Ragnar Lodbrok's kids? Uh, well, the winner of that poll, uh, which took quite a while, because um, I was doing a, decided to do a transferable vote sort of thing and keep constantly eliminating the lowest uh, vote getter until there was over 50%, uh, but the winner ended up being Ivar the Boneless. I am going to be using him to go for a Norse East run, where as a Norse character you have to conquer all the uh, the entire region of Mongolia in Crusader Kings 2. Um, and that's going to probably take a little while. So because of that, I don't want to start that right now while the school semester is still going on, uh, and I wanted to maybe go after something smaller. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, I'm going to be going for the Achievement Defender of the Holy Sepulcher, where you have to start as Eustace, I hope, I'm, by the way, I'm probably going to pro constantly pronounce his name wrong, but a Eustace de Boulon, who is a count in France in the 1066 starts. And uh, then you have to go on a crusade and choose to play your beneficiary after they're made the king or queen of Jerusalem after a crusade. Uh... I might also go for the Deus Volt achievement off that, where you have to create the Empire of Outremer, which is uh, which the Kingdom of Jerusalem is part of. But I probably won't. I think I'm going to do the Outremer in a different campaign sometime, because uh, there's there's something I just want to do with that. Uh, anyway, I think I've uh, spoken quite enough already, so we're going to uh, just jump into things here. Uh, so go to the 1066. Well, custom start date. So just go to the counts here, uh, Count Eustace of Boulogne. Now, uh, okay, so I just finally picked up Conclave, so I'm just going to go through the game rules and make sure everything is uh, set up in a way that I expect it to be, and then we'll come back when I am the character. And we're back. Turns out that for Conclave, the only thing that needs to be selected or that can be modified in the options is uh, regarding children's education. I set it so that it's close relatives, not just my own children. Uh, now, why is this character the one who you need to start as in order to get this achievement? Well, Eustace himself, this Eustace, uh, is not particularly famous. Uh, he didn't particularly himself do anything in regards to uh, t uh, the, the Kingdom of Jerusalem. In fact, uh, he's probably much more famous for uh, possibly taking part in the Battle of Hastings uh, alongside William the Conqueror, although we're not going to be doing that here. <clears throat> uh, but his children... You've got one of them here, Godfried de Boulogne, who's, uh, who became the defender of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem. And then his younger son, who's currently only four years old, became Baldwin I of, uh, of uh, Jerusalem, uh, the first king of uh, Jerusalem while it was out there. And uh, I think it was also the founder of some Cluniac abbeys and things like that. Uh, so, so that's why you just have to start as uh, this character. Oops, oops, excuse me. There I am. Start as him, but I don't have to make him specifically the king of Jerusalem. So I think that if I uh, do the crusade, and uh, <clears throat> I could then um, you, you make my son the bene beneficiary or something like that. Uh, so we don't know how long it's going to take for the crusade to get called. It'll probably be relatively soon. Uh, well, yeah, I think it has to... Wait, is it after... I think it has to be actually after 1080. Uh, is that only when you do the 1080 start? Well, in any case, when it's time to go, it's time to go. But right now, as a count, it's not very likely that I'll be able to contribute enough in order to be uh, be the beneficiary of the entire kingdom. So, <clears throat> I, uh, we need to move on up in the world. Possibly make ourselves the kings of France, although I doubt we're going to have time to do that. Uh, so I just want to first start by taking uh, taking the Duchy of Flanders. Uh, although when I when I look on the wiki, uh, it sounds like we maybe don't necessarily have to be the king of Jerusalem. It just says that we have to control the county of Jerusalem as well as be a king. So there's probably ways to game it, but I'm going to just play it straight. So, uh, first things first, let's start 
uh, sewing, uh, not sewing a scent, fabricating claims. Uh, wait, which one do we want to fabricate a claim on first, though? Uh, who's got the most holdings? There's a Trois over here. Uh, probably not a good idea to go after the Duke himself. So it looks like there are two counties that are uh, that I could take. Uh, and we will work on that. Yeah, so, so we'll probably absorb these other two counties first <clears throat> before I do anything like trying to fabricate this uh, this claim because uh, he's he's certainly stronger than I am right now. He has almost five times the amount of uh, troops that I do. Okay, so who's the weaker one of these? Uh, it's this guy, Bedouin, but we'll go after him first. Oh, did I accidentally assign my counselor? My chancellor. All right, that, that's easy. We'll just have my son come over here, do that. Uh, now it's gonna take me a little bit getting used to uh, how this all works, the the new council and laws stuff uh, that comes with Gavelkind, and not Gavelkind comes with a uh, conclave. So that's another reason why I wanted to do a shorter campaign is so I could uh, make some mistakes and learn exactly how the system works. Because uh, I admittedly don't know a whole lot about Conclave because I've only ever heard bad things about it. But there was somebody who made a really good argument to me. And, like, and it wasn't like just going, oh, you need to get Conclave. It's stupid if you don't have Conclave. Like He actually made a multi-paragraphed, well-reasoned argument as to why Conclave uh, is overall better for, uh, for the gaming experience of Crusader Kings 2. So I will be using it, but I, he he did emphasize it's not beginner friendly. Although I'm hardly a beginner anymore, uh, it just but it is gonna take getting used to. So let's, uh, let's see, train some troops here. So just just bear with me as we do this, please. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that spy network up here, and finally, we want to improve religious relations down here with the Pope. Oops. Okay, <clears throat> ambition. Hmm. Well, we want to acquire a higher title, of course. So, let's do this. I do want to build a war chest as well, but maybe not at the moment. Uh, let's do business so I can set up a trade route. Through the court physician, of course. And what else we got here? Hey, random question. Does anybody know if there is a mod for Crusader Kings 2 that kind of sets things up a little bit more like Hearts of Iron 4 where uh, you can pause the radio and you can look at what, what tracks are coming up and things like that instead of only being able to skip forward? Uh, let me know in the comments below. It's also been a while since I started as a count inside of a major nation, so I'm a couple layers down from the King of France, so uh, this is also... Uh, gonna be an experience. I've got to refresh myself with how that works. Hmm. So we've got some two. We've got okay. Let's take a look at our council here. <clears throat> there is a. We have three voters who are pragmatic pragmatists. A pragmatic counselor will always aim for the path of least resistance when it comes to strengthening the realm and gaining power for themselves. They are inclined to support wars for reclaiming of de jure land or counties with the ruler's culture. They might also support wars against weak opponents. This counselor will oppose the creation of other strong vassals in the realm and will support the revoking of titles from already powerful vassals. Then we've got a malcontent, two who are malcontent. A malcontent counselor is unhappy with the current state of affairs in the realm. They're a troublesome force on the council and will always oppose the will of the ruler unless they directly stand to gain power. And this one, Marshal Robert, is uh, considered a major, uh, he's considered a power vassal because he has the, uh, the, the city of Hesden. Uh, obviously, powerful is a relative term. Okay, so uh, Godfried, I think what we'll do is we're going to take him with our focus and uh, have him struggle. Might be rowdy and railful, or will I do pride? Again, he's the one. You know what? Faith. Tutored by priest, focusing on the Catholic faith. It should increase his learning a little bit. And his brother, Baldwin, he's the one who became the actual king, so we want him to learn, hmm, heritage? Focus on assimilating German culture and Catholic faith. 
Why German? Okay, I don't want that to accidentally happen, so uh, let's have him focus on duty, so he is conscientious. Okay. Oh, uh, did I not choose the other one? Oh, yeah, use this. This is my oldest, uh, I don't know, pride. It increases intrigue and martial. Uh, she doesn't have anything either. Timid, affectionate. Sure. Okay, a Jew has shown up uh, as my potential physician. Hell no! That is terrible! Terrible learning! Absolutely not. By the way, I'm pretty sure that I could have technically gotten this by starting in the uh, <clears throat> December 1066 start when William the Conqueror has already uh, taken the throne, but I find it fun to just see who's going to win. Um, it is amusing to me. Um, what else do we want to do? Search for a smith? No, 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 no. We're going to pick this up. Uh, he wants to allow title ro revocation. No. I have a title. I don't want that revoked. Yeah, it looks like they did it without me. Hmm. Yeah, def definitely going to uh, take a bit of getting used to... So we can go more levy or more tax. Are we what? Max levies goes down and levy goes up. Yeah, vassal obligations definitely uh need a little getting used to. Oh, so this can I see, I see. So they get more stuff. Fussy is the broccoli. Uh, I don't know, diplomatic, whatever. <clears throat> I've become kind. Isn't that sweet? Of course, the wait a minute. Uh, you owe me a favor. Support me in the council. Okay, sure, wouldn't hurt for uh, just to have somebody owe me a favor. Call in council support. You vote like I do for three years. All right. Pretty uh, pretty strong. Guy has four counties. Uh. See, I'm already married, but maybe we can set something up. Or is it this Jeffrey who uh, became king, or became the defender? Well, maybe not. There's already 26 here. I'm not sure. But this is uh, this is something I forgot to think about. Um, yeah, the Holy Roman. Oh, the truce happened. Uh, I was about to say that the Holy Roman Empire and France are always going to war in these situations. Hmm. Now if I get my piety up, maybe I can request claims from the Pope. Alright. When he wants to buy some land, it'll give me 150 gold. Sure. A lot of gold at this point in the game. Uh, new offer a two hundred dollar donation to my liege. I think he does not owe a favor. <clears throat> we'll just leave that be for right now. Oh, we're already halfway, almost halfway through this episode. Uh, we can mint coins for glory. Give me prestige. Basements with pro okay. Yeah, I probably should actually read this for people who don't know it. Oh, <clears throat> but yeah, I know that I'm not super, super hype like I often am at the start of campaigns. This is going to be a little bit slower here until it's actually time for the crusade. So, you have been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you went to mint, wish to mint new coins for your realm, there is a master of the craft you can hire. Not only will the mint be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you. So, I could base it with less precious minerals, I'll become greedy and maybe deceitful, but I'll get gold and prestige. I am gonna do that right now. Stewardship is up. I didn't go over my traits, so I'm a tough soldier who's arbitrary, shy, deceitful, temperate, kind, and now greedy. Okay. <clears throat> Wants this guy to mentor my son. He'll become a Dutch Catholic. No. Uh, let's set somebody else up to do that. Yeah, my brother can take care of him. Uh, my son Eustace, 
Oh, yeah, now he immediately wants to become a monk. And that's going to be an absolutely not. Should have thought about that a little more. Holy War for Barcelona. Hmm. Now, what, what's happening with my Chancellor? We only need a 2.7 fabrication claim yearly. Let's start speeding it up. Ask Liege for a title. Uh, like, what kind of title? It's gonna cost me 60 prestige. Uh, failed to. No. Disappointing. Okay. Oh, so I need to be buttering him up right now. Alright, let's sway him. Oh, my liege! <clears throat> my work in Guineas seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, and threatening and forging documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Guinness, presently held by Count Baduin of Guinness. I'd leave it up to you whether to use it or not. Well, I shall. Oh, this guy has uh, Ragnar Lodbrok's blood in him. He traces him back to himself to Ragnar Sigurd's son, son of Siegfried, son of Ragnar, son of Halfdan. Very interesting. I don't even know who this guy is. Hmm. He's got no kids. I was this could be fun to breed him into me. Uh, we will do that. We're going to get a strong claim, which is awesome. Alright, we're taking our Trois, and... We're also going to move my spy network over there as well. It's gonna, it was a good thing, good thing that popped up because I was about to offer a donation to my liege, so he likes me more. Um, now we can instead spend that on some mercenaries, and I think pretty easily win this war. I'm going to declare on him. I'm going to claim that the council votes yes, six and six, and I break the tie. Empty seek circus here to be no. All right. What's a cheap one? The Swiss band? Yeah, yeah that'll work. Okay, minor titles. It's on the side and some commanders. Let's get our uh, organization up before we actually go on the offensive. You can see we have way more than enough to uh, to deal with them. Judith is now an intricate. Web reader and just, which uh, I'm sure is not a contradiction. Okay, this was nice and easy. Now we just actually have to take the holdings. Who wants me to be a commander? Sure. Okay, so it sort of seems like things are getting better. Oh, do I want to shut the gates? Hmm. A lot of slow camp fever, excuse me, a lot of camp fever running around right now. Now let's uh let's just get through this. Alright, we've had a new son born. <clears throat> I'm gonna name him. Let me think here. Who are Hmm. I don't remember if he had any other children. He had a... Oh, you know what it is? I just remembered. Yeah, yeah. It's... Yeah, the... yeah, it was Godfrey. Where is it? Yeah, it is Godfrey that becomes king. It's not Jeffrey. Um... We are just going to name him William. Even though we've not fought at the Battle of Hastings. We'll just call him that. A little bit more time go by. Uh, he wants to search for a rare artifact. Go for it, man. Uh oh, let's find ourselves a court physician. Yeah, I think it might be time to shut those gates. But people are going to be mad when I open them up again, but it's just how it is sometimes. All right, let's get ourselves a chancellor. <clears throat> so this one here has a star. That's a glory hound. He will always push for the realm to make prestigious advances for glory. They will oppose attacking weak neighbors, but against more powerful opponents, they will not care much for the reason of the war as long as it will strengthen the realm. This counselor also prefers a strong and centralized realm. Sounds good to me. With him. Uh. 
Oh, my son Jeffrey, speaking of, has died. Hmm. Alright. New pilgrim here. Still, again, not very good. But we've already hit 100% on the war score, so we're done. We have usurped the title. Now we have two within our domain. Okay. So now, we wait for this camp fever to pass through. And hope it's hurting the Duke. As soon as I say that, I saw his army levy count go up. Oh, he's a charismatic negotiator. Uh, we've got an unmarried heir here, because he just came of age. Let's try to find, uh... Hmm... A niece, no, uh... We want some kind of decent alliance, maybe. Let's try to... Here we go, between my son and... I'm only gonna get Edith there. Well, he, William is the king now. Hmm. Who can I get him married to? <clears throat> if we go to rank. Yeah, it's just courtiers. Person though has a claim to Hungary. It can be inherited. Very interesting. Let's uh let's set that up. But now I know this might sound weird. We're gonna make it matrilineal. So that we can no, I don't want to get the blood that way. Yeah, yeah, actually we are. I have other children. Uh, we just want to get the blood in, into the family, breed it in, or breed it so that we have some people around, and then we'll uh, go from there. Hmm. Over here we have a zealot. A zealot counselor will strive towards bringing religion to the forefront of the realm's political agenda. If religious war targets are available, this counselor might oppose war against other targets. The counselor will also be more inclined to accept hostile action against heathen and heretic characters. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, we're still part of this holy war down here, but I'm just not interested. Uh, let's... Could ask the liege for a title again. Yes, we got the County of Ghent, so my ambition has been fulfilled. All right, that was awesome. Uh, let's try to... or what was the line? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, gain land for unlanded sun. Sure. Okay, so I now have... Three of the counties of Flanders. Uh, we could start fabricating uh, fabricating a claim now I don't think it's gonna work very well <laughs> a group of hedge knights have come to visit Guillaume has met with them and asked for my reply So yeah, you welcome them with a lavish feast. I'll become gregarious. Might help things a little bit more. Uh, allow them to stay at the castle. Sure. Okay. Oh, what was that scream? The Duchess of Kent was murdered. Acquaintance. Hmm. Log free. Let's have you double willful. That's neat. Uh, no willful children will be hampered. Just do intrigue with him. Okay. <clears throat> He got more open council positions. So I have to keep assigning them new stuff, don't I? Giving them new things to do. 
yeah, over here in positions, uh, go build the spy network here and get framing or fabricating that claim as well. Once I have that, I'll have four of the duchy, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, four of the counties, and just maybe I can deal with this. Oh, the thing is, he also has, holds the duchy of Picardy. <clears throat> Very annoying. Uh, a Jeffrey? No, 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 no. We already have a Jeffrey. Let's go with Renaud. Uh, all right, so it looks like William is going to try to vassalize one in the cruel here. Okay. Hmm. There's a revolt. Ducas, yep. Part of the previous ruling dynasties in the Byzantine Empire. A group of hedge knights have come to visit Boulogne. Well, my reply. Uh, you know, I'm gonna welcome them with a feast. And they'll feast. And they'll feast. And they'll feast, 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 feast. Uh, okay, he's Tibid. Alright. So I'll get the hang of this. Yeah, that's a pretty big England. Let's see if he heads north. Uh. Now the question is, where is the last Wessex character? He's there's Edmund of Godwin. This guy is Harold's son. Okay. So so that but I'm looking for the Wessex kid. Godwin. Alright. She must be closely related. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Duke Edgar of Hadamshire, so he was made Duke after uh, William took the throne, but uh, the Duchy of Hampshire ended up reverting to William, and so the daughter, the last of the line in a way, uh, is not getting what she wants. Okay. We've got a plot here. This must be the... Hmm. <clears throat> Guards capture somebody in a tunnel. Is there near the hollow? Uh, try to interrogate her. She doesn't see him there, my lord. Or... She becomes depressed. Uh. This must be something because I went into hiding behind my gates. And I think the epidemic is gone anyway, so time to come out of the gates. And everybody's going to get mad. Okay. <clears throat> So, do we want to bring her into the court? She's got very good diplomacy and intrigue, but ah, she does have the good intrigue. Fine, let's bring her in. Look at that, she's no longer stressed. Hmm. Oh, am I gonna sleep with her now? I could fall in love with her. This low born woman. Uh, she's shrewd, but I'm not sure that genetically gets passed down. Let's just be friends. Yeah, she. She's in my room unbuttoning her nightdress. Very forward, but uh, no need. No need for that. <clears throat> Appreciate it, but no thanks. I'm married. Uh, wolves territory creeps closer. Now I have a cough. And a headache. I'm getting the flu or something? I've got cancer. Crud. Well, that's why it only matters that you start with a character. Now, Godfried, uh, Godfried's died. My brother did. Died of a disagreement with Emil. Must have been one heck of an argument. This one's angry because he's not on the council. He's just some bishop. I don't really care. Yeah, it's mostly that he wants to see it on the council. That's why he's pissy. Okay, get a new court physician. Hmm. What's the worst that can happen? I need 
need some plot backers of some kind. They don't have to be great. Got one. All right, is this guy gonna be a good physician? 15, he's kind of borderline. Let's go with, yeah, here we go, French and Catholic faith. That makes a lot more sense. But, okay, that, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I know it's a slow start, but uh, we are, you know, we're just mostly waiting for the crusade to start, and I'm hoping that I can become a duke before it does. Thank you for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and please be sure to subscribe so you'll always be notified whenever a new episode of this series goes up. See you in that next one. Bye.